For those struggling with mental health, there is hope. The Saginaw Spirit and the Barb Smith Suicide Resource and Response Network have teamed up to host a mental health phone bank to help those who need it. This weekend, the Spirit will hold its Talk Today Hope for Tomorrow game for mental health and suicide awareness to raise money to aid in suicide prevention. TV5's Meg McLeod joins us live in Studio B, Studio B that is, in our phone bank. Meg. Good evening, everyone. Yes, we are in Studio B with a whole panel of experts. So if you'd like, if you or someone you know is struggling with their mental health, make sure you give us a call at that number scrolling at the bottom of your screen. But first, I want to get to Craig Goslin, managing partner and president of the Saginaw Spirit, to talk a little bit about Talk Today, Hope for Tomorrow. Well, eight years ago, Meg, we lost a player to suicide, Terry Trafford, off the Saginaw Spirit team. Uh, the Trafford family, uh, the Barbara Smith Network, and the Canadian Mental Health Association all work together to create uh, this opportunity called Talk Today. What it is is our program, our, all of our players in our league, 60 teams in our league, go through the program to learn the science of somebody who may be contemplating suicide or may be in need of mental health support. And uh, this year we had an incredible thing happen in Manitoba, which was just amazing. In Manitoba, uh, the Brandon Wink Kings in Manitoba, four of the players were going across the bridge driving after practice. They saw a guy on the edge of the bridge and they, uh, they passed it like all the cars were just going past it. And they turned around, came back, put their hazard lights on, went over to the, to the guy and said, listen, can we talk to you? And he said, there's really nothing to talk about. And, uh, and they said, listen, we're players from the Brandon Weekings. And, uh, and uh, they, they, they said, oh, I, I love the Brandon Weekings. Well, I said, why don't you come off and talk to us? So he did, and the police came, and they helped him, and they saved that man and got him mental health support. And uh, today that guy is very grateful to, for those four players from the Brandon Weekings that saved his life. So, uh, so a lot of great things have come from Talk Today. Those players all went through the Talk Today program. And, uh, you know, it's something Terry's life. Uh, as tragic as it was at the end, uh, left a legacy of helping other people. And the people behind me are, are heroes because they're the ones that put it together. They are. And just moments ago when we were talking about this, I mean, immediate goosebumps, tears. I, I can't believe this is so much bigger than hockey. So why does the Saginaw Spirit have such a passion for this cause? Well, it's about our community. And, you know, all of us are affected by mental health challenges in our life at one time or another, either a loved one or ourselves. And we just encourage people to reach out. Yeah, let's remove the stigma. Let's get rid of the stigma. You know, if you need it, if you have heart concerns, you go to the cardiologist. If you have feet concerns, you go to a podiatrist. If you have mental health concerns, go to a mental health professional and talk to somebody. Get some support, you know, and, and there's, there's alternatives, you know, and we can, they can help you. And uh, that's why I encourage you to call the number here today. Uh, call the, the 988 number and get, get help and uh, reach out to, to people that, can, that are here to help help you through these difficult times. And that's what we're hoping people do so we, they don't take the same decision that Terry Trafford made. And the Saginaw Spirit is furthering this mission at a game. So tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. This Saturday night's game, we have a number of vendors that are going to be there that are going to help support. Bar the Barb Smith Network is putting this on on Saturday night at our game. And we're going to be using all of our resources to help educate the community, uh, create awareness of where people go uh, when they themselves or a loved one is in need of mental health support or somebody that they, they know, they maybe even family's gone through suicide in their family and they want to just get out and be, be around people that can talk to them. And uh, they're welcome to come to the game too. We've got a number of, of support systems that are in place Saturday night and we welcome all, the, all everybody to come out to the, to the event and uh, be part of what's going to be very special. And how can people purchase tickets and also the benefit for the Barb Smith Suicide Resource and Response Network for those who do purchase tickets? Absolutely. Best way is just to go online, SaginawSpirit.com. All the information is on there and uh, and you can see where you can go on there and, and help support the, uh, the, the, uh, the network that's going on here with Barb Smith and her group. They're, they're heroes. Uh, they're the ones that help us put this together and without their help uh, we would have no way of knowing how to do this. They helped us get us on track in the right way uh, so we can help other people and we're just uh, we're honored to be part of it and I know the Trafford family is thrilled to see what's happened and uh, it's uh, it's been a real feel-good story for something that was just awfully tragic. All right, Craig, thank you so much. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give us a call at the number at the bottom of your screen if you or someone you know needs help with mental health. For now, reporting live in Studio B, I'll send it back to you.